My name is Thomas Graham Black. I'm the owner of the Potter's Room here on the Ithaca Commons. I actually started working with ceramics when I was 11 years old. Growing up, I was extremely dyslexic. I couldn't read or write till I was actually 18. So I had one of those childhoods where during the summertime when everyone else was off at summer camp or sports camp or doing fun things, I was at like phonics camp. One summer when I was 11 years old, I gave up the whole summer. I went five hours or seven hours every day. At the end of the summer was my parents wanted to reward me, so they asked me what I wanted to do. I said I'd like to try a pottery class. I sat down for the first time on a wheel when I was 11. The very first thing I made was this sort of about 10 inch tall vase and the instructors were really curious to know if I had been doing this for a long time before because vases are one of the hardest things to make and I sort of looked them in the face and I said, no, this just makes sense. It's all about going slow. It's all about this whole thing where it's cause and effect, and if I go too fast or I push too hard, the general cause and effect there is it falls apart. So you really have to teach yourself to like slow down. And I think I kind of sort of an anxious person, so I think having the ability to work with clay every day sort of helps settle my sort of inner wild spirit, I guess. because it was such a transformative thing in my life where it allowed me to sort of normalize my life and not make life seem so stressful. I really like to promote that to people. So my, beyond actually making the pots myself, my real passion is to teach people how to make pots and really allow my instruction of them making the pots change their life for the better. Scientifically, it's really fun. Artistically, it's really fun. And then also as sort of a, a way to communicate and express yourself and then communicate and allow other people to express themselves. It's a really interesting thing where you can really do all those, those different things with it. It's a lifestyle, you know? Ultimately, when you start doing it like I do, it becomes just this overwhelming lifestyle. And it's a pretty rewarding one, you know, both on allowing yourself to teach other people to have them have transformative experiences like you did or this you know artist lifestyle kind of thing but then it's just really relaxing too you know so it's like you're sort of stressed out even though you're doing all this work and at the end of the day you just sit down and throw a pot and you're sort of like oh okay this is why I'm doing this I don't think I'll ever get bored of it I never think about retiring you know I don't even like to take days off 